New at 10, it's a trip to a fast food restaurant that has changed a man's life forever. I saw him break down. I knew that I didn't have a choice. A woman going through a drive through noticed the man crying. As 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains, what she did next prompted the entire community to step up. Cool story here, Tom. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. Katie Hurst took this picture after seeing the man inside that Burger King. The outpouring that followed shows the compassion and giving nature of people right here in the metro. It was one of those days, you know, I'm, I'm running errands. The chance encounter all started in a Burger King drive through when Katie Hurst noticed a man who stood out. This was a man who was broken. He was down and he was done. A picture taken by Hurst captures the moment she saw him. After dropping off her children, Hurst came back, this time ready to help. I saw him break down. I knew that I didn't have a choice. After a short conversation, she learned more about the man. I got to know his name is Pops. He goes by Pops. While giving him a ride home, Pops opened up about his troubles. He said, but I just want it to end. I just want to go. And that's when I told him today's not the day. After posting the picture to Facebook to ask for help and taking Pops into her home, friends responded with donations of money and clothing, and in Pamela Denson's case, a haircut. I asked him, Pops, is it okay if I cut your hair? Do, do you mind? And he's like, no, I really need it. Help for a man who found himself desperate just days ago. He said all he did, he, he just prayed. You know, that's the only way he knew how to ask for help was to pray. A community showing up to help and a story Katie Hurst says all of us can take something from. We have to help each other and helping each other helps all of us. Hurst sent Pops to the hospital recently to bring him back up to health. She has also uh, made a fundraiser page to help out Pops. For a link to donate, you can click on this story on KSHB.com. Kevin?